This is Revenge of the Pith. Now this is called Revenge of the Pith because we're gonna be using what's called pith balls. These are made out of pith. And we're gonna be looking at PVC and metal and we're gonna determine well which one of them has the electric effect. So what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna grab the pith balls and we're gonna discharge them. We don't want any charge on these pith balls. Now, I'm gonna take that PVC pipe first and I'm going to rub it with the fur and I'm gonna place it next to the pith balls but I'm not going to touch it. So you can see there is an attraction. The pith balls are being attracted to the PVC pipe and I can move them around. So now what we're gonna do next, we're gonna discharge the pith balls by grabbing them. We're going to rub the PVC pipe with the fur again. Then this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the pith balls touch the PVC. So you can see that they did touch and now there is a repulsion after they touched. Right, you can see the pith balls, they're even repelling away from each other, right, after they touch, so. There we go, All right? So something happens when it touches. Last part of this lab, what we're gonna do is I'm going to grab the pith balls again, just get rid of the charge, because we did touch it with the charge. Then I'm gonna repeat the experiment with the metal rod. So I'm gonna grab that fur, rub the metal rod with the fur. Nothing's really happening. Right? So real simple lab, and based on that, we should be able to determine which has the electric effect, the PVC or the metal. Now this pith lab is a recreation of an experiment that Charles Dufay did with pith balls to determine which materials have an electric effect. Now based on this experiment, you should have seen that the PVC pipe had an effect on the pith balls and the metal did not. And based on that, you probably think, well obviously, this PVC pipe must have an electric effect and the metal does not. But that is the same mistake that Charles Dufay made when he first did this experiment. Because it all has to come down to, well, which one of these is an insulator and a conductor? And an insulator stops the flowing of electrons and conductors allow the flow of electrons. So once again, this is Revenge of the Pith.